So that's escalated a lot more than I thought it would do. But there is some method in this, I think. Now what I've done, this is any a dry glue up essentially. I haven't actually put any glue on yet. And something like this, there's so much I want to get in to this one bloody glue up that I've got to, I've got to go through it mentally and check I'm there. Um, and this is something where it does pay to always have a bit of extra um, slow setting glue or something on your shelf. I haven't, so I've uh, made a bit of a rod for me back there. Now what I've decided to do is I've put my metal clamps that I can adjust and get the most force or the most precise force around the joints. So that's self-explanatory. And then what I've done, because I, I didn't want to start banging in a load of heavy metal clamps around this thing, because before you know it, the bloody legs look like a newborn horse. They're all splayed out, and I don't want that. We need to keep everything square, and it's very delicate. So I made a load of these, and I do this quite often. Um, anything from tables that need extra long clamps to stuff like this. And these are ever so light. It's just a bit of gash. And what I do is I just screw a block on one end, and that can pivot. And there's another block there, and that's about three quarters of an inch further away than the actual gap I want to clamp. So that's about three quarters of an inch wider than the table. And then I just bang out a load of wedges. There's no science to the size of them wedges, I just pretty much freehand them. Because this can adjust and spin, it don't matter what shape that is. And then all you do is slot that on and then press the wedge in. And you can hand tighten it or you can knock it in with an hammer depending on how much force you want. So I've littered it with those. I've got, um, got a few on the underside or I will do when I've finished. Um, and then I've got some going along the top, just bringing those in. And that's just to put some force around that panel just to make sure nothing's bowed out and then finally to try and keep these bloody legs square it's a bit of a nightmare getting a square in because there's clamps everywhere so what I've done is I've got this big heavy block I normally just find stuff like that under me in my off cut pile and I've just double checked and I found a square end so that's 90 degrees to that and I checked it with a square so wallop that in there and clamped it to the legs and then to the surface. So that's pulled us into a nice right angle in this corner. And then to get the other legs the same, we've got a couple of these sticks and I've, I've shot them to length. So they're a tight snug fit in the top. And if I just put them into the legs at the bottom, and then what I'll be able to do is just use my pump clamp and just bring those two rails together. So this end basically should then run parallel with this end. And that end's been squared to the top with that big block. And these are just because I can't get my clamps in. So my next job is to strip all that back down and then do it with glue.